Hello, first graders. Welcome to a new math lesson. Today, we're starting a new topic, topic 15. So please open your book, page 609. In this topic, we will be learning about equal shares. Let's see what we have. Draw a line inside the blue circle to show two parts that are the same size. Draw a line inside the yellow circle to show two parts that are not the same size. How do you know the two parts you made in the blue circle are the same size? All right, so over here we're going to have fun. We're going to draw a line to um, break or uh, divide the circle to two equal parts in the blue and the yellow circle to two not equal parts. So let's do that. So two equal parts, we can go line like that, or we can do it um, a, a vertical or horizontal. Over here, let's use different color and let's have not two equal parts. So I can see that these parts are equal and these two parts are not equal or not same size. Let's watch our video. Shapes can be divided into parts or shares. Sometimes the shares are equal. Does this shape show equal shares? Is this shape divided into shares of equal size? Yes, yes the shares are equal. Equal shares are always the same size. Into how many shares is the circle divided? The circle is divided to four equal shares or four equal parts. Let's count. There are four shares. This shape is divided into four equal shares. Sometimes the shares are not equal. Into how many shares is this shape divided? Let's count. There are four shares. Are the shares equal? As we see, they're not equals. So the shares are not equal in this circle. No, they are not the same size. Some shares are larger than other shares. Into how many shares are these shapes divided? Each shape has two shares. Which shape is divided into two equal shares? So we have these two shapes. They both are divided to two shares, but they're not equal. The orange shape is divided to two equal shares. The orange shape is divided into two equal shares. Which shows four equal shares? Are these shapes divided into the same number of shares? No. Which shape is divided into four shares? Select your answer. So, this shape is divided to two to four equal shares. So, the yellow shape is divided into four shares. Are the four shares equal? Yes. This shape is divided into four equal shares. The green shape shows only two shares that are different sizes. Now you know about making equal shares in different shapes. All right, so let's go to our guided practice in your book, page 610. All right, decide if each picture shows equal shares, then circle yes or no. So look at the first blue shapes. It's divided to two equal shares. Yes. Let's go for the next shape, the green shape. 
is divided to four shares. Are they equal? Are they all the same size? No. So let's circle. No. Let's go for our circle. Number three. Is this shape divided to four equal shares? All the shares equal size? Yes. So let's circle yes. Number four. Is this shape divided to two equal parts or two equal shares? Yes. Let's circle yes. Number five. Is this shape divided to four equal shares? All the shares, all the sizes are the same? No. Number six, is this shape divided to two equal shares? Both shares are the same size? Very good, yes. All right. So today we learn about dividing or uh, splitting the shape to equal shares. And we know that we can split them to two equal shares or four equal shares, which is mean that all size, all the shares or the parts are same size. All right, I'll leave you with the rest of the activity in your book, page 611, 612. That's it for today, first graders. Thank you. Hello, first graders. Welcome to a new math lesson. Please open your book, page 612, lesson two. Let's start. Draw a line inside the circle to show two equal shares. Color one of the shares. Then write numbers to tell how many shares you colored. Draw lines inside the rectangle to show four equal shares. Color two of the shares. Then write numbers to tell how many shares you colored. All right, so we have two shapes. We have circle and we have rectangle. We need to um, draw a line inside to show two equal parts. So let's start with the first part of our question. So now I divide the circle to two equal parts. Now this is color one of the shares then write number to tell how many shares you colored. So let's use red and let's color this half red. So have fun. Awesome. Okay. Now let's answer. I colored one out of two, right? Because I divide the circle to two equal parts. So I color one out of how many equal parts or equal shares? Two. So let's write this down. One. Two. All right, let's do the next activity. Now draw lines to inside the rectangular to show four equal shares. So this one, I need to divide it or split it to four equal shares. Color two of the shares, then write numbers to tell how many shares you color. So let's divide to four equal part. I'll try to make it equal. Very good. Now they said color two. So I'm gonna color two. This is one share and this is Second, okay, now we need to write, I color two out of one, two, three, four. So we color two out of four. So let's write this down. Two, 
out of four parts or four shares. Okay, right, let's start our video. You can divide shapes into halves and fourths. How could you describe this circle? This circle is divided into halves. How could you describe the yellow share of the circle? You could say the yellow share is one out of two equal shares. Half of the circle is yellow. This rectangle is divided into halves. How could you describe each share of the rectangle? All right, so that means one out of two equal shares. You could say each share is one out of two equal shares. You could also say each share is half or half of the rectangle. The shares are triangles. What could you do to check whether the two triangles are equal? You could see whether they match exactly. Two of the halves make one whole rectangle. This circle is divided into fourths or quarters. Four of the quarters make one whole circle. How could you describe the blue share of the circle? Right, so there are four or four, part, four parts. So the blue was one out of four. One, two, three, four. You could say the blue share is one out of four equal shares or one fourth of the circle. One quarter of the circle is blue. How could you describe the whole rectangle? You could say four out of four equal shares make a whole rectangle. One fourth or one quarter of the rectangle is yellow. One fourth or one quarter of the rectangle is orange. What do you notice about the green shares of the rectangle? They are half of the rectangle. Half of the rectangle is green. Does it matter that the green shares are not on the same side of the rectangle? So, as we see, this is one shape and we divide it to four equal parts or four um, equal shares. So, if we just describing one part, there will be one out of four or fourth or one quarter. If we describing two, for example, like the green, we will say half of the rectangle is green. No, because two of four equal shares of the rectangle are green. So half of the rectangle is green. What color is half of this circle? Select your answer. So half, as we see, Two quarters or two parts make half of the circles. So this two parts are orange. So what color is half of the circle? Orange. You could say the orange shares are two out of four equal shares, two fourths, or two quarters of the circle. So half of the circle is orange. Now you know about halves and fourths of shapes. All right, let's do our guided practice. In your book, page 614, circle the correct shapes for each problem. One quarter blue. So we have four shapes and we're looking for one quarter, one part out of the rest of the shape. So. In the first shape, the square, I see two parts or two quarters. So I'm looking for only one circle. There's no blue. Yes, 
rectangle, I have one quarter, one fourth, one part is blue. For the circle, I have one part or one quarter or one fourth is blue. So these are the two shapes that we start from. Okay, let's go for number two. One half yellow. So half of the shape is yellow. So let's see the circle. It's split or divided to two equal parts or two equal shares or two equal half, one green, one yellow. So this is right choice. I'm gonna circle. Let's see the second shape. It's divided to four shares, but they're not equal. So I need half. So that yellow here is not half, it's part of it. Let's go for the next circle. This circle divided to four equal parts, but only one fourth or one part or one quarter is yellow. I need one half. Let's go for the square. This shape is divided to two equal parts, one yellow, one green. So one half or one uh, share is yellow. So this also the right answer. Right. So in this lesson, we know that we can divide shapes into halves and fourths. We know that the shapes, um, they can be half and they don't have to be next to each other. We know one part, it could be quarter or one fourth. All right. I'll leave you with the rest of the activity. You need your crayons and have fun page 615 and 616. Thank you.